What is happening, YouTubers? S4J back again here to bring the coolest battles of yesterday and today. And this is a battle that I had recently on Zad against my good buddy Fox McCloud. So let's go, let's get this going. It looks like he has a rain team, and I'm like, whoa, I don't have anything necessarily deal to deal with weather. And that's kind of rare for somebody like me. I'm usually prepared for um anti weather or uh, weather teams in general. But this time around, if whatever weather you're bringing gives you the automatic advantage in this case, that I have Tentacle out in play with the hidden power fire, and I'm thinking like he was gonna probably try to stay. And go for the hypnosis or something like that, maybe a scald, just to try to get up some residual damage on my tentacle. But he immediately switches out into scissor to try to rack up some um, damage onto me. Personally, I wouldn't necessarily have done that because uh, normal tentacles do have access to scald, and you do take a risk of uh, getting yourself burned with the scissor. I don't care what kind of scissor you are. So, but anyway, I'm not going to be able to finish off with the uh, hidden power fire, being that the rain nullifies the um, base power of hidden power fire. He is going to be able to bring in the toxic cork, and luckily for me, I am going to be able to get a freeze as you guys did see two turns ago so i'm thinking like let me just barrage this thing with a whole bunch of ice beams i'm just not trying to have this thing throw out but unfortunately for me it does happen to throw out before i get a chance to finish this thing off and he's going to tighten his focus behind the substitute that i do break now with the ice beam but not before me taking mad damage with this focus wow look at that son even the animation said yo you got pwned son i live with nine hp <laughs> what you doing <laughs> don't you just kill him tentacle no you're not so anyway i'm just gonna switch out into magnet zone known for what he's gonna go for the sucker punch i'm like yes even if he switches out now i am gonna get switch priority being that when i did study his team i noticed that he doesn't have any ground type pokemon so um Fault switch would hit any and anything that he uh, decides to switch out into. Fortunately for me, he switches out to Celebi, which sounds like, yes, you know, I get my Hydreigon, and if he decides to stay in or anything like that, I know that um, a U-turn, considering that his Celebi is defensive in the case, U-turn won't necessarily finish off. I wasn't sure if he would try to stay in and go for the recover and or just try to switch out. He switches out to Feral's, Feral Thorn. I'm thinking about going to Magnezone, but I'm like, hey, this might actually be a perfect time for me to set up um, entry hazards of my own because I very important of, of what I want to do. I also noticed that Magnezone plays a huge role in this particular battle, so I want to definitely keep that out for later on. He goes right back out into Celebi, he goes for the substitutes. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know? I mean, that is common. That's the standard set. I'm thinking Sub Nancy plotted the set, but he happens to go for the Calm Mind. So I'm like, okay, let me just uh, probably go for this Volt Switch. I suppose to switch out. At least I'll get some, a little bit of damage on that um, substitute there. So I'm just going to Volt Switch out right back out into Magnezone. I'm thinking about going out into Hydreigon, but then if I go down into Hydreigon and go for the U-turn, that's straight obvious, and he's going to be able to get off another substitute, and then afterwards probably go for another combine or proceed to go offensively on me with a plus one or plus two uh, of whatever he decides to do. So I'm just going to go out into my test school here. He goes to the Giga Drain here, and um, personally, I would actually went for um, Earth Power or maybe go for another combine. I wouldn't necessarily go for the Giga Drain, being that I don't necessarily have anything uh, except for maybe tentacle, but a tentacle takes neutral damage from that that takes super effective damage from a grass type attack So um, personally I would have um, if I wouldn't went offensively I went for the earth power because I have to know he has to have earth power He's in the rain So it wasn't it doesn't make sense for him to have hidden power of fire when his own attack gets nullified um, In the range presence, so I'm thinking like he has to have earth power. It just makes total sense So I'm just gonna go for the u-turn again to probably try to break the substitute, right? I think he's gonna predict me to go straight back up to magnet zone i don't necessarily do that because i'm gonna go out to um my mon champ being that even though he is buffed up a little bit on the special side i am still gonna be able to inflict major mega damage physically onto it so i do have to pay back he is gonna get a special defensive drop which is great in my opinion because i think because of that he is um compelled to try to stay in and go for the another earth power to probably try to finish off my mon champ that is not gonna happen it's very deceptive and i am gonna be able to retaliate back and finish off that celebi off a nice payback. My video is lagging. Oh, forget that, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, that Celebi is gone. Yes, no plus one for you. So anyway, he brings in Slowbro, and here I take a huge, I mean a huge risk, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, before Slowbro got access to regenerate, it did have own tempo. So things like dynamic punches, like, what are you doing? You're not even going to get the confusion hacks, and it's not very effective. What are you doing? But I take a huge risk, and it pays the hell off. Yes. 
So he gets confusion hacks. I get a little bit of HP recovery, which is nice. I'm gonna try, be, probably try to take advantage of it a little bit more. Go out into my fortress to try, probably try to set up entry hazards because I don't necessarily see too many openings that I can just necessarily do that with. I'm sorry for talking so fast. I'm just hella excited with this battle. It's just crazy. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for the vault switch, noticing that I am happening to be still faster than the slow bro. I'm thinking about going to the magic zone, but I definitely want to um have the slow bro stay in place because I think that I want to fake him out and probably um make him think that I'm just gonna go for the U-turn for switch priority, being that U-turn is super effective against the slow bro, but it won't necessarily finish off. So in retrospect of that ideology, I'm gonna stay in and go for the Draco Meteor to finish off the slow bro. So that's why he stayed in. If he went for the ma if I went for the magic zone, chances are he would have uh, recovered a little bit of HP, uh, switch out into something else to take it, and uh, maybe Feral Thorn or something like that, and um, I wouldn't be able to finish off the slow bro right then and there. Brings in the scissor, right? I know that he's not gonna go for the bullet punch because I do have things like magic zone, um, um, other stuff to take uh, bullet punch necessarily but I'm like hey after the entry hazards after the spikes after the self rock I am gonna stay in and minus two is definitely gonna be enough to finish off that damn scissor so that is great there ladies and gentlemen in comes the toxic rope and even after resistant sucker punch I am gonna be able to survive and after a minus four Draco Meteor Draco Meteor is doing mad damage to your team what are you doing anyway <laughs> toxic rope bites the dust and uh, my hydragon bites the dust afterwards um, to the burn, right? In comes Magnezone. I'm thinking like, hey, my Magnezone Scarf, I could uh, take out the Politoed and or trap the Pharaoh Thorn because those are the only two Pokemon that he has left. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Fire. Even though the fire damage is nullified in the rain, it's definitely going to be a three-hit kill, but then I saw the Thunder Wave. I was like, oh my gosh. No! <laughs> right? So, I know I'm not going to be able to outspeed the, uh, the Politoed. I, that's, I didn't even get a chance to see what kind of Politoed it is. I'm just hoping that it's like defensive or something like that. I, I, please don't be Scarf Hydro Pump because that's not good. And just in case it is um, Scarf Hydro Pump, I'm noticing that he's um, taking the time now, late game, to set up the entry houses now because I noticed that um, my Monchan would um, not be able to switch back in and finish off this Ferrothorn or something like that. I'm thinking that he's going to go for the Jar Ball, knowing full well that I was just going to go for the Rapid Spin, probably try to kill myself off, or uh, set up entry houses of my own also. So because that's kind of what I need to in retrospect to finish him off as well so um, I go for the rapid spin just to be safe and thanks to my rapid spin my Machan is going to be able to survive the entry hazard assault and be able to finish off the feral thorn here with the dynamic punch and we're even son here comes Deoxys and um, I have Deoxys and Magnus Zone left as to his Politone. His Politone does happen to be Scarf as he revealed to me later on at the end of the battle. I am going to get him for Psychic. Not going to be able to finish off that um, Politone and in return he is going to inflict Surf onto me and um, he is going to be able to finish off my Deoxys. I am going to um, be able to survive this Surf but no! I get fully paralyzed. What is this madness? So 1-0. -oh, dude, great game. I definitely have a lot of fun. Views. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and peace. What you you doing?